getting ready to receive our morning offering and tithing. So we're going to ask that you prepare yourselves. Amen. As God has blessed you. Amen. Let's return something back to God this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. He said if we open up the windows of heaven and pour us out blessings where there is not enough room to receive it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God has blessed you, say amen. amen. We don't get a lot of opportunities to speak for him, but let's speak for him this morning. If God has blessed you, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to pass out some offering envelopes this morning. If you need a pen, just... Amen. Also, raise your hand. We provide you with an envelope and a pen. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, yeah, we passed them out. Okay. Bless God. If you have not received an envelope, you can raise your hand and we'll, we don't want to miss you this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Bible said, whatever we give, God is going to give it back to us. But before it gets to us, God's going to press it down. He's going to shake it together. And he's going to cause it to run over. Hallelujah. Showers of blessings. Abundance of blessings. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <coughs> Glory to God. He said he'll make us the head and no longer the tail. He'll raise us above so we don't have to stay beneath. Our God can do that. With him all things are possible. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. The Bible said the just shall live by faith. Do you have your mind made up? You're just going to believe God's word. Hallelujah. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, we're just going to believe God at his word. Hallelujah. He said it will go out and it will not return unto him void. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, Father in heaven, God, we thank you. And we praise you for the offering and tithing that we've received today. Bless those who had something to give and those who did not. And God, we ask that you uh, bless our faith, increase our faith, and we will increase our giving. As you bless us, we'll turn right around and be a blessing to the church. Use the amount, Lord God, that the work here at Greater Jesus Tabernacle will be accomplished to its fullest. In Jesus' name we pray. Every heart say amen. 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 God bless you.
God starting to go to battle for us. So sometimes we have to be like Jehoshaphat. Praise when you're praising. When you can confess some things. When you pray to him. When you call on his name. He goes to battle. My battle is still God's battle. So everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath, praise be the Lord. Oh, I gotta be honest. I used to get on preachers and, uh, and tell you real quick, praise and worship leaders. Most of them was much more talented than me. And I said. They keep saying praise and worship, William. They keep saying that this is how you get your victory. They keep saying that. They just want everybody to jump up and shout. And the more I read my Bible, the more I discovered that God will go to war for you on your behalf. When you put on the weapons of the warfare that are not from them, they're mighty through God. So when you praise the Lord, you pray.
of Jesus. But that doesn't mean that his power and his throne is not accessible. Amen. It's still there. You just forgot. Amen. So we remind each other. That's what the family corporate worship is all about. We remind each other that we have to lift up holy hands in the sanctuary. Amen. Lift up holy hands. Put on this spiritual armor. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to change the service. I'm going to ask you to sit down real quick and we can move. Uh, I take too much time uh, because it's it ain't too late. But we have a couple of praise and worship leaders. One that had to be gone. One that's on our way, maybe. But maybe with Bishop, y'all keep them in prayer. Unexpected things come up. And there's some people I don't see out there that I've been seeing. Amen. Pray for them. And pray for them. Some people are going through. And there's persecution. And there's things that we'll go through while we're walking with God. He didn't promise that there'll be no issues. Is that right? He didn't promise that you'll be free from all trials. Amen. Tribulation, they'll come. And Jesus was whipped on the cross. Amen. But he said he'll be through with you through it, didn't he? He'll be with us through it all. Amen. Through it all, he'll be with us. Amen. At this time, there's somebody special that has a birthday this morning. And her name is First Lady Sister Roberta Foster. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Amen. She deserves it. She works hard. She serves Hallelujah of Missouri Western State University. And she does so much for the community, for her family, for the church, for so many people. Aware and unaware, hallelujah, she does a lot. And we're so thankful for her. And like I said earlier, you would see more things up here, more gifts, but she already has them down there because we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't wait to give them to her when we saw her, hallelujah, because she is so loved here. We are so appreciated. We thank God for the pastor who allows us and shares her with us because she is a busy lady. Amen. Taking care of a whole family as she does and cooking and spring cleaning as she does. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. She does all of those things. Amen. And does not afraid to get her hands dirty and meet and greeting everyone. Hallelujah. I like folks that ain't afraid to get a little dirty. Hallelujah. No matter how good they may look on the outside. They ain't afraid to get a little dirty sometimes. Hallelujah. Not afraid You know what I'm saying? Somebody praying for you when you don't even know they're praying for you. They're afraid to get on their knees and lay on their face and cry out before God for the children of the church. So we're so thankful for you. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Many, many more birthdays. Amen. I forgot how old I was. <laughs> so, so all year I thought I was 48, and, <laughs> and I was actually 47. So um, that's what happens when you when you work hard. Sometimes you just don't, you know, put yourself first like you should. But that's the lesson that we're learning this year is to remember how old we are, you know, and celebrate every day. Um, I have a twin brother, and today's his birthday, too, and he thought he was a different age, too. So I don't know if it's the twin thing, if he's rubbing off on me, or whatever it is, but uh, we're two hard workers out here in the vineyard just trying to do what God has called us to do. And I just thank God for life. Um, don't take it for granted what's what God is doing in your life, you know. Um, if I had any life lessons, if I could tell, talk to my younger self, well, what I tell my younger self is to enjoy the journey and do everything you do unto God. Even those things you don't feel like doing, but you know you have to do. If you do it unto God, it's like you're teaching yourself a little more grace, but also offering up it up to God as your sacrifice. And he'll bless it. He'll anoint it. And we all need the blessings of God over our lives and the things that we do. Um, it's not easy. Sometimes the spirit of excellence is, um, is learned through error, through trial and error. And sometimes we have to, it's something, when God takes you to another level, you have to operate in a spirit of excellence. And so um, anything that God signs you, you know, God don't bless mess, right? So, so we have to allow him to clean us up and to teach us and how to make us again another vessel. And just stay in the word of God and apply it to your life. Don't compare yourself to nobody. Don't compare your journey to anybody else's. Be all, be the best version of yourself that you can be. Um, and I just thank God for life, all the strength. I feel pretty good today, Pastor. Thank you. I confess about my age. <laughs> we figured it out. We're 48 today. <laughs> God is so good.
God gave us the opportunity to worship him. He thought about us before we was fearfully and wonderfully made. He thought about us. He knew who we, we was. And then he said, I'm going to make you in my image. Hallelujah. And then sometimes in this world, we pick and choose what day, what Sunday, what day we might give him praise. How excited we might be. How enthusiastic we might not be. And you know, God allows you to make a choice. He does. And we, we try to choose exactly sometime what day we're going to worship him on, what song we're going to sing, what part of the Bible we're going to read. And then we get sometimes complacent and apathy sets in. And sometimes we get lazy and we think we can worship the Lord tomorrow. We can worship the Lord next year. I'm going to get my life together in five years. I need to sow my royal oats now. I need to try to find out uh, exactly who I am first. And we forgot that we were created to worship him. We was created to live for him. The song says, my life is not my own. My life is not my own. And the scripture says, in him, I, I, I breathe and move and have my being. And uh, we sometimes need to be reminded that the Lord is my rock and my salvation. And the Lord is my fortress. Uh -huh. Sometimes we need to be reminded Psalms uh, 23. Uh huh. How does it go? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It didn't say my, the God is my shepherd, but somebody in that passage, the writer, the author, has made him Lord and not just their God. He's Lord over your life when you decide to follow him, you decide to walk with him. And you decide to live life with Jesus. This is our season of my life with Jesus. He's a my shepherd I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green path. Don't you know life is good with Jesus? You're going to have some trials and tribulations. But yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of even my enemies. My, and my, he anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth well. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Not just when I feel like it. Not just when I feel like praising him. Not just when I feel like everything is all right in my life. Not just.